And welcome to the final episode. We have error and error mark two. I knew you'd make it. The over... I... Niner now is really not the time.
take me? Envoy of Vegas. We shall see how. Hi, Cannibal There's Johnson. Moving, <laughs> How long do I have left? Yeah. Well, I'm at the Battle of Hoover Dam. So. Correction. The Battle of Hoover Dam has ended. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screens of those Legion bastards. Speaking of, could use a hundred. Mr. House. Sends his regards, Oliver. He's expanding. What the hell are you on about? House. He's just a rumor on this trip. Never leaves his... What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. <laughs> Singing isn't necessary. But I do have a paper for you to sign. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas. What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait, here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. This paper of yours isn't fit to You know I won't surrender the dam. And certainly not to the Ghost Man of Vegas and his new Right Hand of the Week. We held this place for years. Kicked one leg out of here so hard Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me... True. Guess I'm a little too used to seeing Securitrons in Vegas to think they'd turn and be bad news. And I know how bad they can get. <laughs> Look, house, Vegas, it's pretty. Got you blinded a bit, maybe. And if you say no... I'm not going to throw away the lives of my men just to make a point. And there'll be other days. Good day, Mr. House. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. 
he'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my oh. estimate. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. But less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Vegas might see a dip in red. Vegas will be a shining jewel. This is just the start. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside oh. Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, fair and kind-hearted to those in the wasteland, ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Black Mountain Radio continued to broadcast his peculiar form of propaganda. Raul Tejada faced his execution each day, though pardoned in the end. Travelers venturing too near Black Mountain continue to be harassed by Tabitha's followers. Without organized leadership, the remaining boomers slowly drifted away, leaving Nellis Air Force Base to be flooded by prospectors and scavengers. All of the boomers accumulated knowledge quickly scattered, and their existence slowly oh, faded from them. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiend staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before robot Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. Robot Arcade was outraged yeah. by Mr. House's uh, power play following the defeat of Caesar's Legion at Hoover Dam. Though he remained in Freeside for a short time after the Securitrons established widespread control, he eventually traveled back into NCR territory. Disillusioned with the followers of the Apocalypse, he settled down in the outskirts of the Boneyard, where he worked happily as a family doctor. After Aww, Mr. House going. gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Did I with really? his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the Kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines, and were wiped out Excellent. to the last man. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. The cook dead, the powder gangers of Vault 19 fell apart. Those who weren't destroyed by the courier fled into the hills or attempted to work their way back through the Mojave wasteland. Few survived. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs prim with his own style of frontier justice. 
He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Carrier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. This is the end. I'm sad to see yet another one go. Yet at the same time, I'm happy to see it go. Well, we're not going to watch the whole entire credits. Although we should. Because these guys are just wonderful. Well. I'll see you guys in my new series of mod reviews. See you guys then.